For lab 23, what we're actually going to do is test a similar idea in terms of what can an organism use for food. And so here, we're going to test if it can use proteins, in particular the amino acids that go inside those proteins. And so what we have usually is media that looks a little bit on the purplish side. Same concept that we're going to take a set of organisms, a septic technique, inoculate our guys, and then test if these organisms can use that specific amino acid. So here we also have on top of the amino acids colored dots to let us know which amino acid is which. And so here on the list we have the red dots that contain ornithine, our blue dots that contain arginine, and our yellow dots that contain lysine. So what we have then is multiple amino acids and multiple organisms inoculating our particular media. And what we do in this case, we want it to be an anaerobic environment so it focuses only on that amino acid. And so after you inoculate, you will pour some mineral oil, some sterile oil on top of it, a tiny little layer of it, a couple of drops, to prevent any oxygen from getting in. Ideally, if the organism can actually use that particular amino acid, our positive test is that it keeps that pH inside this indicator nice and purple. If it cannot, it will actually change it to this kind of brownish, yellowish color most of the time. Your job in this case is to figure out which organisms, as well as which amino acids work with which, and to establish if a particular organism can use that particular amino acid. If it can, it'll keep it nice and purple. If it cannot, it will turn it into this yellowish brownish color. So that's the subject of that particular experiment. For lab 23, the decarboxylation of amino acids, we'll take media that has been enriched in a particular amino acid. We have three amino acids colored lysine, arginine, and ornithine by the color of their dots but they all start with media that looks this violet or purple color. Your job will be to add some sterile mineral oil on top of that and then wait for it in this anaerobic environment to see if it can utilize that particular amino acid. If it can, it will remain closely to this color purple, and if it can't, it will turn brownish to yellow. So certain organisms, for example, this ornithine, clearly did not change or remain in this case purple and change into this yellow color, so it's negative for the result. For lysine, on the other hand, it kept its color purple, indicating that it's positive. Different organisms will produce different results. For example, this case for arginine, that remained purple, meaning positive. But here, this arginine, which turned yellow, so therefore it's negative for that result.